uh, wow, it's a tough weekend for the, uh, the Jaguar women's basketball this weekend. Um, uh, really struggled Saturday in the turnover department. Uh, had some critical turnovers down the stretch that really cost us. Um, kind of lost our focus a little bit, and I thought it was just enough to get them their energy with their um, guard play. Um, Tobar was instrumental down the stretch. Had a couple of key steals for him. Um, Monday night, we just, that thing seemed like it had a lid on it. Uh, point blank layups, wide open looks. You know, um, Kendra went 0 for 12, which is, you know, hopefully I'll never see an, another 0 for 12 from her and the rest of her career because that was enough. I mean, it was, it was just a tough shooting night for us. Uh, finished the game shooting around 22%. And, um, from the field, just a, just a horrible shooting night. And only lost by 12 or 13 points. You know, definitely a game that we should have won. Uh, have all the resources we need to win, just couldn't do all in the hole. Uh, going forward, we have a big game against Alcorn on uh, Saturday. Uh, I think we're in a must-win situation if we're gonna try, if we plan to maintain pace uh, for the for, uh, conference race. Uh, we're one game behind Mississippi Valley. And they have their last three games on the road. We have one at all point and then two at home. So if we could possibly get all three of these and they stumble along the way, um, we could be right back in there at a tie and or potentially um, uh, first place. So that's where we are. We're just trying to maintain where we are and get better. We had a good practice yesterday. Uh, we went back to the basics. Uh, we were making a lot of mental mistakes in terms of just simple ball handling. Um, and past decisions. So uh, we went back to fixing that and working on basic layups. Um, kids, and, and we wanted to make them, you know, have a, a loose practice to a degree and put some fun back in it. So I added some, some old fashioned drills that my coaches used to do when we got in this type of situation and uh, they responded very well. How concerning is it to struggle like that, say, Monday night, this late in the season? Yeah. Well, like this is a, this is a young team. You know, people forget. You know, Jamie's the only senior on that team, and all my guards are either a freshman or a sophomore. And um, you know, we really don't have a uh, quote-unquote point guard uh, that's been taught or played that position their entire career. We have two guards of threes running the PG. So down the stretch, it's important that we have a great team effort in terms of taking care of closing out the game. And uh, so that needs to be a focal point of ours um, against the pressure, um, the on-ball screen. Um, these are the type of things that we really got to work on and uh, get better at. And the kids have to have to have the confidence from that practice to go into the games and execute. Are you very confident that they will turn it around, especially as crucial as the next three games are? I have no doubt in my mind we'll be ready to go on Friday. They were really disappointed in their efforts and watching the tape. They were just kind of sitting there shaking their heads like, wow. You know, like incredible. it was incredulous to them. You know, it's like I tell them, in a, in a game you might have 60 or, or more possessions, you know, and those possessions are critical. We shot the basketball, literally shot it 22 times more than our opponent. And, um, you, know, you know, for a while it seemed like we were just throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, and there, you know, it wasn't, it was like trying to throw it in a needle head, you know, it was just, it was just a tough night for us. But I think they have the confidence, you know, we had a great practice, we're going to have two more good practices in us, and then we'll get ready to go uh, play a, uh, an all corn team that we've played before. We've defeated them here, they're small, they're scrappy, we got to take care of the basketball, keep them out of the lane, and uh, rebound, and I think it'll be great. You mentioned you, you don't need us to tell you that all corn is usually like they don't just walk it up. You know, how, why does that concern you as far as your personnel wise and also being on the road and all that good stuff? Well, the biggest thing is keeping them off the free throw line. I mean, because they're going to try to attack the rim and uh, try to get some easy baskets in transition. And of course, they do their full court pressure uh, the whole game. Uh, take care of the basketball. Make sure our bigs are always in a position we can outlet the ball to them and uh, make sure they're making good pass decisions back to the, the guards and, um, you know, finish. I, I, you know, it's, it's all up to our kids. And like I said, going forward, after our team meeting yesterday and watching the tape and, and the practices that we had, I think that they left out of here very confident that we will be ready to go and, uh, and, you know, that I'm on their side. You know, it's like I told them. I said, I'm just as guilty of them of frustration. You know, I think that's a human emotion, you know. But at this point, it's not an option. 
um, when it comes time to playing basketball and um, coaching it, you have to set aside any uh, personal concerns or anything um, um, happening emotional wise during the game, and you got to focus in on the big picture, and that's just getting it done. All the details have to be cross dotted and um, outlined if necessary, and, and we we got to go forward as a unit. And when I say as a unit, that means the team, the coaching staff, and everyone involved. So um, we're all on the same page, and we're excited about playing on Saturday night. Moving into your secondary role, just again, can you give a Southern University stance with Coach Mitchell being in the news? You guys remain firm that he is the head coach of the Jaguar football program. Yeah. Coach Mitchell is here. He uh, started um, um, spring football today. We're really excited about him being back and ready to go. And everybody's really excited about football. And, um, you know, uh, we're looking forward to the recruits that he has coming in in the fall. And, um, uh, JP, you know, going forward, he's going to be an outstanding quarterback here at Southern. So it, it's a great time. We have a, um, a new strength and conditioning coach that's going to be coming in working with the team. And uh, we have uh, a guy here that's working with the kids outside of um, that, trying to increase their speed and quickness. So we're putting a lot of things in place to assist um, the football team in going forward. Uh, we're just excited about the opportunity and the growth, you know. Uh, I think it says a lot about Coach Mitchell as a coach that um, uh, an NFL um, team would be interested in him. I, I think that's, that's an incredible opportunity for any coach, and um, you always want to encourage opportunities such as that if a coach is as is, 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 is qualified as Coach Mitchell is to, to receive that type of honor. Um, but we're happy to have him there. Have you had a chance to sit down and spend a few minutes with them? I have not. You know, I mean, we got in um, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then we had practice, and then I had a number of other meetings uh, pressing with some of the other coaches regarding our gender equity projects and so forth. And had a staff meeting this morning um, regarding what's going on with each individual coach, but we kind of do it as a committee. Uh, but as far as one-on-one, -on -one, we have not. You know, he's heavily involved in getting prep for his uh, preseason, I mean, his uh, – um, spring football, and uh, we don't want to detract from that. So uh, going forward, and that's where we are. And uh, we're just happy that, you know, he's here with us. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said before, it's a wonderful opportunity that um, he would be given an honor to even be considered for an opportunity in the NFL. I mean, anybody tell you, that, that's, that's pretty spectacular. So uh, we're encouraged and uh, we're happy. All right, we're last go question. Forward. Just moving forward, should something happen, you guys always have to be prepared. What would Southern's approach be if the coach were to leave this week? How, <laughs> what kind of timetable or what would you guys like to do moving forward? You know, I, I can't even answer that. I mean, uh, It is a hypothetical at this point. It, yeah, I mean, but, you know, I, I don't like to answer questions in hypotheticals. Um, you know, Coach Mitchell was here, and he's our guy, and uh, we're going to roll with that. Thanks, guys. All right.